You may have enjoyed watching them the last few seasons. Of course, this is a very different side. Oh, they've almost given it away. Doncaster give the ball away really cheaply. Here is Burns running into their area. Off to our right-hand side. Ball into the centre. And who else but Macaulay Bond scores! Shocking moment from Doncaster, but we'll take it. Ipswich Town still have had to capitalise. And boy, did they. Full credit to Burns. He gets another assist. It was a tap in for two yards from Bonn. And Ipswich Town lead Doncaster Rovers by one goal to the left of 13 minutes. Well, that's becoming a super pairing. Bur Burns to Bonn goal. That's a perfect pairing. Town leading 1 0. Plenty blue shirts off to our right. And it comes towards the far post. Headed away, but volleyed in beyond the far post. And it's Lee Evans back in the side who gets his first goal for Ipswich Town. And they now lead Doncaster Rovers by two goals to nil, 32 minutes played. Yeah, lovely finish, you know, decent corner, caused problems, that's what you want from a corner kick. Wasn't cleared correctly, falls to Evans and beautifully put away, so this is a really good commanding position forward tries a switch of play it's a lovely ball from Selina great pick out Penny on the far side one-on-one -on -one with Dodu comes back to Fraser down with 100% of the possession the last 90 seconds probably now here is Morsey infield to Selina Selina gets the ball back off of Anderson not once but twice then Burns Selina again pulling the strings shooting from a way out spilled by Dahlberg out behind cleared downfield by Halat kick towards the battle between Bonn and Anderson won by the taller player Anderson Burns important couple of touches to Evans to the right hand side Dynastian trying to carry the ball on against Alowu now he's got it against Rue well done Dynastian in comes his cross towards Burns with a great volley goodness me that was travelling if I hadn't hit Anderson square on the side of his head he stayed down and understandably the referee has brought a halt to proceedings Noyle has it he controls it plays it into the centre headed away by Edmondson, Burns is going to try and prevent Doncaster winning their first corner kick of the game and he has Alowu lets the ball go past him to Anderson, Anderson goes <laughs> round Selina pokes it forward, now to the right hand side, Williams of Doncaster breaking forward, infield Doncaster edge of the Ipswich Eric Shakur shoots uh, straight at Hlatke, but it's an effort on target and in the end he's got Selina on the ball, he drops his left shoulder, goes to his right and he's able to get a shot away. Town breaking down the left hand side, Selina, he's quick, he's got there ahead of Williams, chance for him to cross, in comes his early ball, there's players there, headed into the net and it's Lee Evans! Goal number one for Ipswich Town has been followed up rather sharply by goal number two in the rain at Portman Road. Ipswich Town lead Doncaster Rovers by three goals to nil and surely we can start to celebrate Ipswich Town's first home victory of the season. Yeah, I suppose you could say that patience has helped us to do that but possibly it's also just altering the shape of the team and the personnel of the team as well. Vilkar turns and crosses towards the far post. It hung up nicely in there for Halatki. Halatki with a quick throw to Burns. At such town after more goals and glory. Burns to the left-hand side behind Selina. Penny will keep this move alive. Penny down the line towards Selina, who's onside. The ball will hold up. He's got players in the box. Selina along the byline, cuts in field. He's still got it. Cross it towards Bond. Bond with a chest trap and volley. Oh, that is a tremendous goal. What a glorious goal from Macaulay Bond. Took it beautifully on his chest, but his technique to spin and hit it into the net was marvellous. What a season he is having. It's now 4-0 to Ipswich Town. And their run without a victory at home is now well and truly over. And he knows that uh, the points are safe. Here is uh, Danassian, 15 to go. Back to Edmondson. Town passing it around in midfield now to uh, Fraser. Fraser with a pass forward trying to get Bon away, who certainly will not want to come off here as Selina. Ball breaks to Fraser, carrying the ball forward for Ipswich Town. Selina wants it on the left hand side, now inside the area, plays it square, burns into the box, a chance for another goal. Oh, and Lee Evans has got a hat trick! What a remarkable night for him in central midfield! The goals are flying in at Portman Road. It's 5-0 Ipswich Town. And the match ball is going to Lee Evans. Incredible.
Evans on this free kick for Ipswich Town into the area. It comes. Oh, it's a dangerous one. It's in the net. Town get another goal. The flag stays down. Get this scoreline. Ipswich Town six. Doncaster Rovers nil. And it's George Edmondson, the big centre half, who gets his name on the score sheet. His first goal for the club. Happy days at Portman Road. Coming forward is Penny, getting away from Vilka, running in field up to the edge of the box, ball slightly behind him, has Chaplin in close proximity. Here's Saturday's goal scorer. Chaplin scampering in field, using fellow substitute Harper. Clever ball from Harper to Fraser, gets to the byline, dinks the ball into the centre, headed away as far as Harper. He brings it down and shoots! Oh, he hits the post! Ten centimetres away from a seventh. There is the final whistle, as a huge roar from the uh, Ipswich Town crowd, deservedly applauding off their boys in blue after a fantastic first home win of the season. They've completely blown Doncaster Rovers uh, away by six goals to nil. The Lee Evans game, this will be remembered as.